Hey, it's Kelly with your A1 Extra presented by 8 at 4. This week, we're taking a look at the plastics making their way into our waterways and in some cases, our food. Here's RTD reporter Luca Powell with more. The story had to do with discoveries that researchers in Virginia are making regarding the plastics that show up in our food, in our fish, for example, in oysters, but also in our air and our water, uh, just as a virtue of plastics, the way that they age, they kind of fray and become, the older a plastic gets, for example, a plastic bag, it frays and uh, becomes small, a small little particle, like dust-like particle will, will shed from the plastic. And they're called microplastics. They're, they're tiny, you usually can't see them, uh, but they're so small that they can pass through cell walls, for example. Some great research has been being done by the scientists at the Virginia Institute for Marine Science um, in Portsmouth. And they're looking at fish that are dying because of the presence of plastics and they just can't survive as long. A worrying sign for, for I guess, our whole world, really, if we decide to continue <laughs> uh, polluting the waters with plastic in the way that we have been. We don't have really good data on how much plastic is in our water, but we do have these anecdotal bits and pieces from volunteer cleanups that have occurred all across Virginia. Last September, there was a cleanup that picked up 1,000 pounds in one day uh, from volunteers of plastic on Belle Isle in Richmond. So, so we know that the pollution is occurring near us, around us, and um, it's really what happens with all that plastic over time uh, that people are starting to be concerned with. There are plastics producers in Chesterfield. There are plastics producers in Henrico. There are plastics producers in Hopewell. Um, so. There is a, a lot to the discussion, and it's not really clear or, or set in stone who is, to, who is at fault. Uh, this is a long-running theme with plastics. Who's responsible for cleaning it up? Uh, and that is you know, yet to be decided. All right, that's it. Make sure you log on to Richmond.com for more reporting and stories of Richmond and Central Virginia. And remember to follow along on social at RTD News. We'll see you next week for another A1 Extra presented by 8 at 4.